the war in 1948 would not have started, the Arabs could have a state they can call their own, the Jews could have a state they can call their own, and it ends there. How can you believe in a Jewish supremacist state? How is it a Jewish supremacy if there's two million Arabs living in the country equally can they vote and get elected? They're not equal. There's a difference between Why not? nationality and citizenship within Israel. They can all practice their religion peacefully. They can vote to whichever government they want. An Arab um, judge actually put a Jewish prime minister in prison. So you, you have the full spectrum of freedom for all religions, religions in Israel. The fact that it's called a Jewish state is because Jews have no other place they can call home. The be history is that Jewish people came from Eastern Europe, where granted, my family as well. Mm -hmm. My it's family from genocide. Tunisia, not Eastern Europe. From many parts Finish of the world. Saying, Stop interrupting And her. came and moved into houses that we're already Arabs occupied. were expelled from. Not true. You know Go read uh, a letter that Zaev Jabotinsky wrote. It's called The Iron Wall. Yeah. And it says there, I have a reputation from the Arab world that they think that I want to kick another nation out. There is no yeah. future without the two nations in the country. It says it. Yeah. Zaev Jabotinsky, one of the leaders of the Zionist movement, mm -hmm. If you go and read that, you'll understand that the Zionist movement had no intention in kicking anybody out. You're also making it. You're also making it sound like. You're also making it sound like people. We're, we're not defending a supremacist state. We're not, we're not defending a supremacist state. When did one of us say that we defend? A, if the war in 1948 would not have started, the Arabs could have a state they can call their own. The Jews could have a state they can call their own, and it ends there.